Cavendish. I'm here with my friend Jolie and she is doing a video about Anne of Green Gables. We're staying at a cottage between Green Gables and Avonlea Village. Look at this adorable little cottage in Cavendish. Today we're going to high tea at Tyne Valley Cafe. So this is my first high tea and I'm really excited. It's kind of fancy. Last night we went to Cavendish Beach, but instead of going to the beach, we went to the dunes. It was really, really cool to see the red cliffs and I'm terrified of heights, so it was thrilling. Thrilling. <laughs> it was thrilling. And terrifying at the same time. <laughs> this is my friend Jolie. Not to be mistaken as Anne. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Which wait, I was yesterday. <laughs> wait until you see her Anne of Green Gables video because she was mistaken for Anne a few times. Yeah, I was. With her <laughs> red hair and her dress. Now, if you're in North America. I don't know. Mm. We're talking about being mm. I have vegan peanut butter chocolate pie and eat and mess berries. figure out where Lucy Maud Montgomery actually lived and grew up. It wasn't Green Gables. It's not this place. Where are we? The museum. The, the McNeil, Anne of Green Gables Museum. Not McNeil. Campbell. Yeah. The, where the Lake of Shining Waters is. But now we think. Campbell family home from nine generations. The McNeil Homestead. So we're going to find the McNeil Homestead. I am... So confused. So confused. <laughs> There's a lot of work behind this Anne of Green Gables <laughs> weekend. Yeah. We found her resting place quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, she's buried, but we don't know where she The lived. McNeil Homestead. That's that's where she grew up. Okay. Onward. We think we found it. Lucy Maud Montgomery's historic site. site, but they actually tore down Lucy Maud Montgomery's home. So they got that small building back or something. So we're here at the homestead, Lucy Maud Montgomery's homestead, and you were talking to the yeah. hostess lady. So I went over to another house 
and there's a sign in front of it that says private and I was wondering why it says private if there's a huge national historic site sign at the end of this driveway and a woman came running out and said that it was actually the other way um, but the house doesn't exist anymore because what? her uncle <laughs> after Lucy Mom Montgomery got famous for her books he tore down the house she grew up in <laughs> apparently it's wow. probably because he was jealous of her mm. fame wow yeah so what is left though is the kitchen which is oh. over here right there that's the kitchen that's the kitchen oh. mm -hmm. so the moral of the story is you can't pick your family but you can pick your friends yeah <laughs> we're at avonlea village going to get a coffee and tea in the rain. The Tim Hortons isn't even open yet for another week or so. It's pretty quiet in Cavendish when it's not summer. So we're not even sure if this coffee shop is going to be open that we went to yesterday. church into a boom burger. Let's go girlfriend. <laughs> we're at Cavendish Beach today. Last night we were here and we went down to the dunes and it's May so it's not tour season yet so it's pretty quiet and Jolie has her drone so she's gonna get some drone footage if it's not too windy. Ooh, so pretty. 